Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about network security and this is the second video of this series. Now, <clears throat> as you know, we have already discussed about uh, network, we've already discussed about security, right? So in our introduction, we have talked about network, we have talked about security, we have talked about how to secure your data, why to secure your data, all those things, right? So in this, we'll actually start with the first chapter, okay? And the first cha chapter, it's attacks on computers and computer security. Okay, so so for this we have to see uh, if we talk about computers, we, if we talk about networks, we have to secure them, right? And if we talk about security, we have different models. The first topic we're discussing is security models. So what is security model? So we have basically we have four security models. First, you can provide security with no security. It's something like if you if you show there is nothing important here. If if you if you're not trying to secure that thing. It signifies that's nothing more important there. So what's the advantage is if somebody want to, uh, if somebody wants that data, they will think it's not that important because there's no security, right? So you can secure something with no security. <clears throat> and you can also call this op security. So security through op security because that's something important, but you're showing without applying security that is not important. So for a person who want to hack it, he will think it's not important. So he will not hack it. So it's that part, right? Then we have something called host security. Now see, when you talk about computer, it's also called as host. So protecting your computer or making your computer secure is making your host secure. So first thing, no security. Second one is security with op security. And third one is host security. And the last one is network security. To protect your whole system, to protect your all the computers in your network you have to secure your network so if you're securing your host you're securing your host if you're securing your network you're securing all the host in that network right so again we have different levels so if you talk about small simple levels we have to secure the host if you're not going complex level you have you can secure your network then uh, <clears throat> then we have something called as principles of security now the second topic is principles of security. Now if we talk about principles of security, there are certain principles we have to consider. The first, uh, the first principle is confidentiality. So what is confidentiality? Uh, it's something like, there is something called as normal data, there is something called as critical data. So if my normal data is theft or it is, uh, somebody has hacked my system and is is taking all my normal data it's okay because those data are normal but if somebody tried to hack my critical data so that's critical right so in that critical part we have two parts we have personal data we have confidential data personal means like individual have personal data or if you talk about commercial people they have confidential data so like my company's password my company's annual revenue my company's on annual salary not salary annual growth it's it, these all are confidential, right? So I don't want anyone to hack that system and they can take this confidential data. So if somebody, let's suppose if I'm I'm sending a mail to my friend and somebody tried to hack it or try to uh, try to see what I'm sending to him, it's uh, they are, it, I'm losing my confidentiality. Uh, next is let's suppose if I send my data to my friend and somebody in between changes the data or you know delete that data it is called as integrity problem so my data is not integrity right no it's not going for in it's not going in integrate format because i'm sending something else and he's getting something else if i'm sending if i'm sending five and he's getting six so the data is not integrity it's not it's not it's not following integrity right uh then we have something called as authentication what is authentic authentication there are certain certain things like uh some features there are some features which will be only be used by some authorized person, right? Example, if if I have an account of Facebook, only I can use it because it's my account, right? Nobody else can uh, update my profile. I Only I can update my profile. I can change my uh, uh, DP. I can change my profile pic. Nobody else can change my profile pic. It's because when I use my Facebook account, I have to log in, right? I have to show them i am the authorized person of this account so i have to they have to check the authentication right and yeah then we have non repetition non what is non repetition uh it's something like uh it's something like i think in this way 
if if i say uh, to my bank transfer this amount to this person let's suppose I'm, i want to transfer 10000 rupees from my account to my friend's account and if i say this to my bank using some instructions and my bank transfer that amount to my friend's account after a while i cannot i cannot say i have not i have not told you to transfer you have to you have done it by yourself what the what the proof the bank have that i have told them to do it so that comes under non repetition right so again a uh, where to read all this thing where to uh, from which book i am referring all this thing since i am only talking right so what you can do is you can you can take this book the book name is atul kahate so this is the book this is the second edition you can see second edition of cryptography and network security from atul kahate so i am referring this book okay so when i say you something you just change your pages you will see the topics and there is some points there so it's easy for you if you take the book see my video and try to you know try to match it so there's something called as confidentiality there's something called as uh, integrity there's something called authentication and non repetition then we have two more one is access control and availability now the access control let's suppose if i have a server i have a big server in that server i have multiple features and for normal users i want to assign only certain features not all features so what i can do is i can keep the access control so this user can do this thing this user can do this thing right because if a normal user get all the privileges they might have some chances that if his intention will change and it will attack, it will delete all the data so we don't want that part right so what we can do is we can give certain restrictions or we can we can have certain privileges okay then then okay then we have availability yeah availability now what is availability if let's suppose a want to access a resource if i want to access a resource let, let's suppose a, 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 a some features and somebody is stop stopping me to use that resource example uh, i am assigned a job in that job i have to calculate things right so to use to act, to uh, calculate those thing i need a calculator so in my windows system i have a feature of calculator so i'm oh, i'm trying to open that calculator using command prompt so in command prompt i'm typing c a l c so it means calculator so it should open a calc right but the problem is if somebody try to stop me if if somebody write some if i've written some code and trying to stop me that comes under availability problem right so i the, the that feature is not available to me since i have i got the privileges but still because of some problem i'm not not able to have, to take the uh, access okay then we have the next topic you have uh, ethical and legal issues now what is ethical and legal issues now think about this you are working you are you have you have your gmail account you have your google account you have your facebook account right now what we claim we access we use every feature for free we use google for free we use facebook for free we use youtube for free then how they earn they earn from advertisement right they earn from advertisement you see those ads on your google you see so those ads on facebook you see ads on youtube so those company earn from ads we enjoy for free they earn from ads it's all together we have win win situation they are on the winning side i am on the winning side winning side is because i am getting the service for free and winning for them is because they are showing us the ads and they are earning from those companies like if on google if i'm getting ad of colgate if i'm getting ad of toshiba so toshiba is paying google google is giving that service for free okay so the thing is now if you talk about google search now if you talk about facebook these services are like they are free they are free right so if you talk about this service which are free like uh, think about this if, if those services are free there is some way your data is 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 given to toshiba this because now we want some customized searching right now if if let's suppose if i am getting ads for uh for johnson baby care i don't have a baby i am not a baby so what why i am getting that ads of baby, johnson baby care right so if let's suppose in future after 10 years if after 5 years if i have a baby right and if i have a baby at that time i'm getting the, those ads of johnson baby care it makes sense right so that means the ad should be shown to those people who want that product not a 
everyone. I don't want that ad of jo Johnson Baby Care, right? I don't want ad of uh, of uh, Girls Dio. I don't want ad of uh, especially hair dyes because I don't have it. So I don't want those ads. I want ads of laptops. I want ads of mo uh, mobile. Mobile. I want ads of books. I want ads of uh, maybe a Mendio or clothes, right? So those ads are called as personalized ads or customized ads. So how will Google knows about this? So what Google will do? Google will check who are you? What's your gender? What you, where you work? Wh what you do? What's your passion? Everything they will know. They, they, they come, they know all this because of your Google search, because of your Gmail account, Google of, because of your G plus account. So they, don't, they, they know everything, right? They know, they know all these things. If they know all this thing, they will sell this data to Toshiba company so that they can send me ads. Right. In fact, last week I was searching for a laptop on Flipkart. So I have an account in Standard Chatted Bank and I have Flipkart account. And I don't know how they merge together. I was searching for uh, laptops on my Flipkart and suddenly next day I'm getting a mail from my bank so that saying that buy a laptop from Flipkart, you will get 20% off. My bank is sending my mail. It's awesome, right? Your data is exchanged between Flipkart and bank. It's a privacy issue, right? My data, Flipkart is selling to my bank. My bank is selling those data to Flipkart. It's a privacy issue, right? So I don't want my privacy to get hurt. So that's why we have some ethical and legal issues. First, your privacy should not go problem, should not go in, uh, it should not have any, you have, should not have any issue with privacy. You should not have any uh, pro proper, uh, problem with uh, accuracy. It's because if I'm say, if I'm updating my profile on Facebook, it should be accurate, right? They should not change anything. Like if I'm saying my phone number is this, they should not change my phone number. It's because it's my data. Next is uh, property. Your photos, your information is your property. Like let's suppose if your photos is used by Google for searching, it's it's illegal, right? And yeah, and accessibility. It's your data should be accessible to you. It's nothing like if you're uploading a photo on Google, on Facebook and Facebook says now this photo is ours. You cannot delete this photo. You can delete your photo, right? Because it's your property. So this, this is what we have some legal issues. We have legal issues with privacy. We have legal issues with accuracy. We have legal issues with property and accessibility. Then we come with then we come towards attacks now what is attack attack is something like you're attacking, attacking a system okay so if you attack a system uh if you attack a computer system you can attack a normal system you can attack humans so if we talk about this attack attack normally classified into two parts one is passive attacks and is active attacks now what is passive passive is something like a sender and receiver they don't get hurt the message is let's suppose if a sends message to b a sends message to B. But let's suppose C try to check what the message is being sent. That is called as passive attack. But let's suppose if A send message, A, A sends a message to B as hello, how are you? And C checks that data and delete that part. It's, he deletes hi. So that is called as active attack. You're changing something with, uh, the, with the message. But when you talk about this uh, Theoretical point of view or general view, you have three types of attacks. One is criminal attack, second is publicity attack, and third one is legal attack. So if you talk about a criminal attack, it is like uh, you want you want some cash from this bank. You are attacking that server to get cash. It's your criminal activity, right? Second is your publicity attack. It's something like you are attacking a server, not for your benefit, but to get publicized. You know, uh, in headlines, you'll be having a news. Mr. Navin Reddy has hacked this account. Publicity. I, do, I have not got any money or any cash from it, but I got the publicity. Next is legal attacks. It's legal attack means, you know, we have some hackers, some uh, security professionals. Now they can hack Facebook server. They can hack Google server. They can hack Yahoo server, but no one can stop them because they are doing a legal way. They are finding the flaws. They are finding loopholes of the servers. Okay. So, this is legal attacks. So basically when I talk about attacks, it's criminal, public, publicity and legal attacks. Okay. And yeah. And remaining part, 
we'll see in next video so stay tuned do subscribe for the further videos thank you so much